is my great aunt's bracelet, and it's a watch and a bracelet. It's convertible. Her husband bought this for her sometime, I think, in the 1930s, during the Depression. Okay. Uh, money was not a problem for them. Well, that they were some of the fortunate ones they during that specific fortunate. time yeah. in history. Mm -hmm. You've got this fantastic Art Deco watch. You were absolutely right. Spot on. The time frame is the 1930s on this. Uh, what I like is that the movement is still working in the watch. Oh. Swiss movement, 17 jewels. It's a standard ladies movement mm -hmm. for a vintage watch and it works perfectly. It's by a, a little known maker. So in terms of adding value to the piece, it, it's really not impacting that. Your aunt was a woman ahead of her time mm -hmm. and she thought forward enough to convert this into a bracelet. And not only was she smart enough to do that, but she did it in a way so that it could still be turned back into the watch. You could enjoy it in two different ways. What a clever idea. In many cases, on these old watches, we'll find that the movement of the watch is signed by the manufacturer, but the dial of the watch is actually signed by the retail jeweler. So it may have been the retail jeweler who took the movement and placed it into this beautiful diamond and platinum bracelet and it's all in pristine condition. The one exception would be that the crystal has been taken off, mm -hmm. and that was really to accommodate the opal going into the center section. With the Art Deco watches, we've seen so many come onto the market that it's actually somewhat pushed prices down. Okay. And a second factor is that everyone's using their cell phones, yeah. or the smart watches now. So it's very difficult to find the right audience that appreciates this wonderful vintage timepiece that you have. So it's an Art Deco piece. If this ever came to auction, the watch would have a value of $300 to $500. Oh, wow. 